Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Do you have an external DVD player like this one right here? And you have it hooked up your computer, you cannot figure out how to eject the DVD or CD. I'll show you how to do that today. This will work for newer iMacs, older iMacs, and it also will work for the MacBooks. So first things first, let's push in our DVD. I'll give it a second here to boot up. Okay, now my DVD player is playing. Here's a couple different tricks that you might, uh, might be helpful. So number one, if you're on the screen like this right here, Go up to the top left, kind of fiddle around, go under controls, go down to eject, click on that right there. You can also see it's telling you the command keys. So you can also press command E at the same time and that would have the same result. Press that, our DVD ejects. On some of these, by the way, especially for computers older, it might take like up to 30 seconds for it to eject. So give it a little bit of time. All right, here's another scenario. Let's make the screen a little smaller. Okay, and now I've minimized this. And the problem with this is that if I'm on this screen right here, and I'm actually gonna drag this up just to show you. So if I'm on this screen right here, you can see I still have my DVD player. It's engaged right here. So I can go over to controls, then I can press eject. But if I click somewhere other than this DVD, like on my background. See how I'm back into the normal computer right here? So what I need to do is go back over, I'm gonna left click on that side, bring the DVD back in, and then if it still isn't showing the DVD, see so look, it says finder, file, edit, it does not show the DVD, so what I'm gonna do is just click here at the top, left click, and now I'm back to the DVD player. Now I can go back to controls, back down to eject, or, <clears throat> again, if I'm on the screen right here, this one, it's not gonna work. On this screen right here, if you go down and press Command and E, it is not gonna work. You gotta be on the actual DVD. So I pull it over, again, that's not gonna work either. Once I click on that, now it's saying, okay, now we're engaged with the DVD player right here. Now you can either go to Controls Eject, or you can go down here to Command Eject. All right, let's try Command Eject just for the thrill of it? I don't know. Is it a thrill? There it is. I can tell it's going to work because it's stopped my DVD player from playing. Pushes it out right there. Hey friends, I hope today's video helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.